Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias from The Automator. And earlier today, I got an email or a reply to the video we did on 10 Tips on Web Scraping with Jackie and I in our podcast. And it's from Zio786. He mentioned, I assume he, uh, he's like, hey, I'm waiting for your, your video review on Refidium WebDriver, uh, AHK. It's a thing that, which I didn't realize. Um, and Zayas, you want to go ahead and share your screen here and you can start talking to it. But he's the actual author, at least of this, it is a class, right? I didn't look at it yet. But yes. we, we, so I, I was pretty excited. Yeah, go ahead, Zayas. Yeah, so this is the page, this is the forum uh, page that where he actually says, or how do you say that whenever you announce that <laughs> he created this library. And I think, I assume it is a class because he is here creating the new run, sure. run driver. So yeah, it is a class. And he mentions that it only requires the latest web driver. And he mentions the point that doesn't need Selenium or web sockets. So you have done videos about Selenium before, right? Long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you, did you find Selenium like, like hard to use or how was it? No, honestly, it wasn't terrible. Um, mm -hmm. But and actually, it was something you and I chatted about earlier. Was two things I didn't like about it. One was installing it sucked. Uh, actually, you know, so three things because it's very particular to right now for us without a hotkey. There were clearly different versions of Selenium out there, and it wasn't really clear. Like I go to find examples, and the syntax was so different. It was like the you know version one versus one one and auto hotkey, and or you know one to two now. They were so different, but it was never stated this is the version you're working with. So it was very, very confusing. And then the third one, which is what you mentioned earlier too, was they, instead of like with IE, you'd had very specific, you know, mentions of things in the DOM on how to get methods. They they named them something different. And, and it was really weird at the time because I'm like, I have to learn this new way of, method. yeah, naming yeah. convention. Yeah. yeah. I did, at the time I didn't understand it, but er earlier you and I were chatting and you kind of explained what, the differentiation is and why um yeah so anyway and, and then the other one though was actually the selenium at the time and this was like five years ago maybe the the person that had authored this the selenium version for auto hotkey which is the the one that's you know for for windows um they're like oh and i'm getting ready to release this new version you know of selenium blah 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 and it's still, I checked a while ago, it still has never been released. So the one yeah, yeah, is really yeah. old. Yeah, so, so basically it looks like uh, the developer couldn't maintain it or, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah. Now, the, the so there's two ways of automating browsers, at least for the Chromium-based ones. And whenever we are looking for libraries, we see either or. So one of them is either with Selenium, which is the most stable one, complicated to install, a little bit annoying. Okay. For auto hotkey, right? For auto hotkey at least, right. Yeah. Now on the other hand, for the other way is WebSockets. Now WebSockets is a special type of connection in which you communicate with the with the program, sending information to it, and it would reply back. One of the issues with it is that you have to wait for the answer. And sometimes if it doesn't answer, your program might get stuck in a loop. <laughs> so waiting for an answer. And in that one, you're connecting to the, the debug version, right? Yes. Like, so that... you have to connect to the debug version because normally the browser will, is not listening to those kind of things because it would be a security issue. Now, the, the, the debugging environment opens up that so you as a developer can communicate with it and see the changes and stuff like that. Fine. Those are the two ways. Now, this web driver... Uh, says that you don't need any of those. I would, in my case, say well, not really because the web driver is a library that is part of Selenium. Okay, that's how I understand it. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I see it. Selenium is just kind of like an implementation of that web driver. And what that means is that they grab the web driver and create it an executable that works based on the driver, but they also give you the driver, do whatever you want with it. And this guy, what he did is, okay, I'm gonna grab the web driver and I'm gonna create a class in a hotkey based off of that. So yeah, you do not need to install Selenium, the whole thing. You just need the web driver. I think Windows comes with it uh, now a days, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. So uh, if, if it doesn't 
come in uh, 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 pre-installed on your computer. You can get it from there. Uh, he gives a, uh, a link to downloading the latest Chrome drivers. But remember, it's any Chromium-based uh, uh, okay. browser. So you could actually manipulate Edge as well. So that's good. And again, notice that he they mentioned very often the W3C. This is the group that creates the standards for this type of things. So that's what is going on in here. He just created a class based on the driver that is a standard. So this should work anywhere. Now, I was very excited and, and, and we talked about it because, okay, good. I don't need to download Selenium itself. Good, I do. But not only that, and when, when we were reading the answers, this one stood out to me like, oh, wow, you wrapped many of the basic web driver calls to be used with common dumb methods. And this is the part that you were like, right. ah, come on. So <laughs> like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> but the DOM, you, we are very used to you working with the DOM and you have this query selector all function, right? But the driver itself does not have a method called like that because that is part of the DOM. And that's where I tried to explain the fact that the driver itself modifies a little bit the name of the method that they use to do that because it's not the one from the DOM, it's their version of it. And you might get different results. So they name it a little bit differently so that you don't get exactly the expectation that you're going to get the same as well, you're doing and there. And to clarify, that's what like Selenium did when you right. used the actual thing from Selenium. That's why I didn't, I was, you know, discovered because IE, from what you told me earlier, does connect directly to the DOM. You're yes. connecting to the DOM. Yeah. So you're actually manipulating, not manipulating, but by going over, you know, navigating the DOM directly. Right. But with the, the web driver and other approaches like this, you're not you're, actually connected to the DOM. Exactly. Uh, the I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really sure if it actually gives you access to the DOM that way, right. or if it gives you kind of like a door that you can use the things that they allow you to, or if they actually have a way to connect directly to the DOM. I'm not really sure. But, and this is the other part. Um, right now, the way how these guys did it, the, the, this Rufidi, Rufadium driver, right? Think about it as the same thing as Selenium. It's the same thing. The only thing is that it is based off of auto hotkey for us, Okay, and that he made the functions in a way that it is more common for us to understand it. That's all. But it is doing the same thing. Selenium is using the web driver to automate stuff. Rofadium is also using the web driver to automate stuff, and they have a, diff a little different implementation of it. That's what is going on. But he is actually doing something that I would call syntax sugar that makes it easier for you to work with it, right? And that is that he you can use query selector just like that, and it would do what you expect to, to do. But that's something that Rufadium is doing with the web driver itself. So I think this is a nice, um, it's a good library and it's really recent. That was on the uh, on April, yeah. 5th, uh, April, April 11th. So that was a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Uh, so this is something that I would expect that is being maintained right now. So I, I would be very excited to go ahead and try it out. I actually subscribed to the topic to see what the latest uh, developments are. And I'm really happy with it. I, 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 well, we'll give it a try. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we, we do some videos here coming up probably next week on you know the basics of how to get it started, do some basic stuff. I, I noticed when you go to the next pages, he was demonstrating how to um, go across the frames you know, and other stuff. Okay. So. I noticed that he said that the examples the were moved. So he said that the examples yeah. were moved to yeah, GitHub. So let's go ahead and go there. And in GitHub, okay, so uh, this how is to, how, how to connect GitHub. to your profile was one Run I remember. driver, script reloading, capabilities. Let me see, what driver sessions. Uh, let me see if he has something that has to do with the examples. Hold on. This is a readme only. And you said, what were you looking for? An well, example in, of? In, in the forum, he was talking about, you know, navigating frames, how to use your profile, um, how to do the different tabs. So there's. Oh, so let me, let me put frames. 
huh, switching between window types and frames. Okay, so basically, probably he mentioned something on the forum that is not in the examples here. But yeah, that was something that it is not a long topic as of yet. But notice how much 75 posts is like really popular. So whatever, so if, if in a few weeks you got 75 posts, means that people are really engaged with it. And most of the people that I know that are very, you know, active, like creating right. stuff like Joe, F. Yeah, Jody F. He's Tank. right, Tank. They are actually all of them very excited about it. So I know that it is a very nice, you know, <laughs> very nice thing. Eh? Yeah, and when Tank chimes in and says, this is my go-to, you know, for automation on a right. browser, I'm like, wow, that's that's, high that's a <laughs> like That's a very big <laughs> thing. That's awesome. So I will definitely be taking a look at and look at that. You have your query selector roles, right? <laughs> it's going to be do interesting. Um, I'm not really sure what CDP means in this context, but I will, yeah, we will learn it. Don't worry. Code page is the only thing that pops in my head, but I, I don't imagine that. Would... Nah, I don't think so. But don't worry. We will take a look at that later. Or Chrome driver page. Chrome driver, driver page is maybe what he's doing. So... Yeah, yeah. So Chrome session, G, get session, GS. <laughs> so he's probably doing something like that. Yeah. We will see. So, so thank you so much for working on this Z O seven eight six. Is that what it was? Uh, but yeah, we're we're looking forward to, to playing with it. We just don't have time at the moment. We got the newsletter finished today, and um, yes, tomorrow is our live call and stuff. So, but uh, it is exciting because well, now the other thing we didn't mention was auto control. We've been using it's a Chrome extension. However, yes. that's the beautiful thing about this is if we can directly automate um, a browser without having anything else installed, like yeah. that's huge, right? Right, and that is that is huge, and I like, <laughs> I yeah, it's more reliable. And, and basically, for example, the the way how we're doing without auto control, it is more more of a workaround than actually right. a solution, right? So it's even though, yeah, I'm in in the tool itself, you can do some automation with the tool. However, when you and I, we were working this for a client, it still takes setup, you know, and we've actually worked some ways to help with that setup, yeah. but it's just still, it's not, it's not a blink, you know, like the days of IE automation, it was so simple. Hopefully we can get back <laughs> to that with this. Yeah. There awesome. you go. Thank you.